This is the Burstner travel van. Firstly, the 30. Now, not sadly my age, but 30 years of low profile Burstners. The other thing, well, the cab looks familiar, doesn't it? It looks like a Fiat, but look at the badge. It's a Citroen. The engine is different. Two litres, 130 bhp, but we like this engine. It's smoother, it's more refined, and some people even say it's a bit more economical. The only downside, if you want an automatic, you can have a travel van on a Fiat to get that automatic. Citroen, don't do an auto. Now, the key thing about travel van is it's not as wide as most coach builds. Just look at the body here and you can see it doesn't stick out much beyond the cab. Overall width, 2.2 metres. A bit further back, you'll notice that the windows are flush, much nicer than the usual caravan style windows. And then down here, convenient service point, fresh water tank, hot water drain, and even your hookup lead comes out through a little recess here with the door closed. Lead just comes through there. Alloy wheels are part of the extra pack that you get with the 30 edition. And then of course there's the garage at the back. And this is a good size garage. 1.12 meters headroom, two full size loading doors. And even on this three and a half ton base vehicle, you've still got 650 kilos payload. And this isn't a big motorhome either. 6.6 meters overall length. Because this is the edition 30, for the 56,995 price tag, you get everything that you see here. That includes this leather, leather trimmed steering wheel, cab air conditioning, driver and passenger airbags, the big over cab sunroof, and this doubled in Pioneer unit with sat nav and reversing camera. You also get this rather nice duotone fabric. Everything is standard. Now, this half donut seating area is pretty standard too, with a wall, wall mounted table and this swing out extension leaf. Good practical stuff. The only thing that isn't quite as standard is this little seat. Now, it's a bit on the small side until you extend it. Now, it could be enough for somebody that's just popped in to share a cup of coffee with you. Or better still, somewhere to rest your legs when you're watching the telly up there. And more. There's coat hooks in there if you take the shelves out. But otherwise, with the shelves in, really good practical storage for all your clothes. Really like that. The kitchens in this type of layout are always a little bit compromised, but there are some good points too. A little bit of worktop here, and with the removable sink cover, a bit more worktop there. All thanks to the fact that the burners are three in a line. Low level storage is good too, because it's all in drawers, which are nice soft close units. And the fridge, only 96 litres capacity, which isn't huge these days, but it does have automatic energy selection. Now this washroom makes a really good first impression. Plenty of room around the loo, nice big basin, this very fancy tap, and I like the curved wall behind the basin too. But then it's got a neat party trick. Just undo a catch and the whole wash basin and wall swings around and creates a really good sized shower cubicle. And you don't have to worry about a shower curtain protecting the door because you get this concertina screen instead that won't stick to you like a standard shower curtain. This layout really is all about the bedroom. Not a big motorhome, but good size beds, instantly available and easy access via these steps. 1.92 meters long on this side, over two meters long on this side, and they're very comfy too. And if you're worried about banging your head on these cupboards, don't because in the morning when you just want to relax, what could be better than that? And also if you want a bit more of a double, if not quite a complete double, you can slot that cushion in there for even more mattress area. Storage is a really good point in this van. You've got massive locker under here and a second wardrobe 
under here again with two-way access and also this rather neat revolving hanging rail so two people are certainly not going to be short of stowage space in this van not going to be short of equipment either pretty much everything you want is standard in this vehicle it's nice and compact the only downside really is that there's no oven and grill Don't forget to check out our YouTube channel for lots more great motorhome reviews. And why not subscribe?